that. Breaking back, bitch. Yeah. Uh, get him out of my fear. Get him out, bitch. Get him out, bitch. Get him out, bitch. Get him out, bitch. Get him out, Give me a barbie, now she chewing it You niggas want smoke, but you ain't proving it Spark another eye, we too lit, we ruthless Get him in his lip, now you toothless He was running from our shots, nigga, now he shoeless Run around in this bitch whip, now you bullish Throw for hundred rounds up the skull, we ain't losing Ship a hundred pounds, exotic bows, we get to it Getting loud on the phone, I'm the plug, is you stupid? No couple crisps with them blicks, they be cooling No couple blood showing love, they be booing I be getting love in my hood, cause what I'm doing Ain't no love in your hood, little nigga, so you moving, huh? Going crazy. Get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. Let's just buy the mark on y'all stupid eyes. Get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. Said you got a bigger bag, well, how, how you moving it? Like, if I throw you 40 G's, what, what you, you gonna, gonna do with it? it? Wobble, wobble, side to side, like how she moving it? Yeah. You worry about a thought? I'm, I'm trying to touch 50. Slap some ears on that bitch, call that bitch Mickey. If it ain't about no cheese, keep keep me out your mansion. Say free fuck, cause mm-hmm. mm-hmm. duck and got mm-hmm. a Smith, Smith and Wesson. Beat be the rise in the party, yeah, she talk too much. I keep you up, hoes, guessing y'all don't make enough. And ain't no sneak this Paris for y'all low I'm outside, 35th come bring your hoe eyes. If you got some money, put it where your mouth at. Talking greasy on the book, bitch, you a comrade. Hey. Put a 30 in your hand, you still want bus back. Get in my we took your hoe, come get your bitch come back. Bitch she sucked the mob, we threw her out, no, she can't come back. Check in the back, your hoes be fans, and y'all be cool with that. Right. If I eat my brother's eat, we gotta, gotta shake, shake back. back. You stressing, buy some petty pep, go get, get your, your racks up. up. I could spend a whole brick, yeah, I'm back, Batman. Speaking, Speaking on some shit, shit, you ain't make happen. Fuck some book, can't show the pack to back it up. Fuck a Louis, Louis fuck a Gucci, I'm gonna stack them racks up. Get him on, get him on, get him on, get him on. Y'all already know what's going on, man. Yup. What's going on, man? It's your boy Rick Taylor back with another episode of that Rick Taylor Entertainment Podcast. And I'm here with my boy Ray getting back and my homegirl Jay shook back. What's going on with y'all? What's up, Shit. Man? You know what I'm saying? Him and show love. You know what I'm saying? You show love. You show me plenty of love. So you know I'm going to come show love, bro. Already. You, are, you already know what it is, bro. Uh, they, pray, they put up to the trenches, man, to come show some support and kick it and vibe with your boy, uh, man. You uh, y'all know how it is. This is all I love. Uh, this show first time being y'all both of y'all first time being on the show. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, um, pretty much um, how my platform is is like it's welcome for everybody. Whether you're a rapper, a hooper, athlete, uh, actor, politician, whatever you know, what I'm saying as long as we can come up here and vibe and talk and have a good time, you know, what I'm saying come up and vent, you know, just hit my DM. Hell yeah! And um, pretty much like I um, this show is like letting the people know who you is and what you do, and um. Come up here and let them know a piece of your mind. Let them know your story and stuff like that. And uh, we're going to get right to it, man. My first question for both of y'all is, where was y'all born and raised? You know what I'm saying? Big phone for uh, not the fuck going on. Milwaukee. All around Milwaukee. Born and raised. I'm my nigga. All around that motherfucker, for real. Okay. But growing up, shit, we was, born, we, was, we was born in the South. And then, you know what I'm saying? Then we went to, like, we was growing up. We was in, like, West Island. Then we went back to the South. I'm saying, then mm-hmm. mom's had us all over the north, had us everywhere. Shit. We was everywhere, really, to be everywhere. honest. Mm-hmm. We was never just set somewhere. I mean, but the south side, uh, besides the south side, let me say that's just that's just you know where we feel most comfortable. You know, south right. for sure. My mama, hell yeah. Right. Shout out to south side, my nigga. Yeah, no shout bullshit. out to the south, man. Now, um, let's talk about the south side. Like, what was your childhood like? What was your childhood like growing up on the south side? Shit. Is it sirens, gunshots, it's poverty for real. Everything, everything that going around on the north, east, what, all that. Same really, thing on the south. I mean, swear it's to God. really the same. To be honest, it's just, <clears throat> I mean, it's you know, everywhere it's, it's parts and neighborhoods where it's not as bad. But I mean, yeah, really the same shit. I mean, yeah. if you find, I mean, the right location. Hell yeah. Shit, growing up, shit, we was. We was getting into trouble, I'm saying, hanging out with bad kids. You know what I'm saying, little niggas hanging out with bad kids. You know how that go. Just. Right. Just trying to navigate through life and trying to make it. Yeah. You know, like, because Milwaukee is, like, so se- like so segregated, I mean, segregated and, like, so divided. Like, I had some people who grew up on the south side and stuff like that. And um, I haven't been over there like that a lot myself growing up. But um, until I got older and I've been over there and seeing what's going on. Yeah, and it's like, like you said, it's like the north side. It's stuff that happened over there, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all make the news as well, just like the north side, you know? Yeah, shit. I ain't gonna, growing up there, it was, like, we was able to go outside, though, like, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was just way, like, it was just way safer back then, I feel like. For everywhere, it's north, east, everywhere, it was just more safer. You can go kick it down the block, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? No, it ain't none of that. Right. Go. 
Yeah, it's kind of sad. Like, you know, seeing nowadays, you don't really see kids on bikes outside no more you playing at the park hooping on god you, you don't, don't see, see that shit at, at all. all like like and that's really sad like now you see little niggas and stolies and kids and kia boys and, all that. and just wanting to be what everybody else you know wanting to fit in like and that shit really sad to be honest right now what's your thoughts on that um i'm, I'm glad you brought that up um what's your thoughts on that because you know i had my guy up and my guy um uh, big steph like you know i kind of grew up around him he grew up around us and uh, he was, they was already doing that stuff like pilling, like um, cars, pillies, and all that type of stuff. And they said back then, it was kind of different. It wasn't like they wasn't on what they, what the youth is on now, just driving reckless. They was really getting to shit or yeah, going. trying to, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, what, what do y'all like? Why do y'all think that like that, like they doing all that stuff? Like why, the, why that the way it is? They just be bored. They don't got nothing to do. They all want to fit in. You know what I'm saying they all want to be cool. It, Definitely. Like. They ain't even and sometimes they don't even be trying to go get a bag. That should be that should be throwing me off with it. Like they don't be trying to get a bag. They just go in there, hop in the whip to to drag race, mm-hmm. do stupid stuff, have fun. Yeah, that's really what I never understood. Like, like I I ain't gonna lie, it be some motherfuckers who be who be hopping in, who be dumping out of stories, you know who be. But like half of the time it just be little niggas joy riding. Like mm-hmm. I don't, cause you know motherfuckers gotta work hard for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers yeah, work yeah. hard for their money. You Man. know what I'm saying? Like that shit. I mean, I mean, you know. But I'm not. I'm not the type to judge nobody right. either, though. Like you know, you gotta get it how you how you live. Like you know what I'm saying? Like but at the same time, you know, motherfuckers make mistakes. Motherfuckers shit. You gotta you gotta grow up. You gotta do certain shit to grow up. But I mean, I mean. I don't really Right I don't condone to that shit. Though. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. If no. I have robbers, stealing me, no. my niggas, anybody. You take any of our cars, any. Touch any whips, bro. It's it's that. Yeah, that's stealing shit. We don't fuck with that. that shit. Right, that's so crazy. But, you know what I'm saying? Um, I actually had a conversation with one of them before. Um, that a, a, a kid that be doing that. Yeah. And he just said it was all kind of different reasons. Like some Hell people yeah. be bored. It gave my general rush. Mm-hmm. Or um, some be trying to like getting some like stealing a whip, just go bust some moves and make some money for their family. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I, don't, I, don't, I don't, That's the thing. I don't, I don't see nothing wrong if you trying to help your family, bro. Just don't steal, bro. Just, hey, bro. You, I know you got friends. I know you got somebody who, somebody, right. aunties, grandpas, anybody. You know, you hop in the whip, bro. It ain't, it ain't that hard, money. Right. Now, what was your household like growing up? I mean, it was really like, like he said in the beginning, it was really like back and forth. Like, you know, for our own reasons, it was back and forth for different family members. You but know, I sometimes ain't. it was, it was. I ain't gonna lie, we had a. Like a pretty decent like childhood, but it wasn't always all good. You know what I'm saying? It was mm-hmm. times where we was it was we was fucked up and down bad and had a you know what I'm saying homeless, all that shit. Hell like. yeah, we really we really had a little piece of everything. To be honest, you know like shit. I started working at a young age. I started working at 14, 15. But that's just the type of person I am. I always like to have my own bag. I like to get it in. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, like it was really like it was really like on and off like to be very honest like shit wasn't just always stun signs it was never sweet though everywhere we went niggas had bugs all type like it was terrible bro terrible hell yeah but uh, that's that's why we trying to make it out we don't want our kids living like how we was living exactly and then i see how the kids be now like uh, it's a lot of like mobs out here and stuff hell yeah i just found that out like damn my nephew told me about it he showed me a page i'm like what is this that's different mobs i'm like damn that's crazy, man. I'm praying for the youth, man. I hope y'all make it out. And no judgment to y'all, man. Like, you know, when we was young, doing crazy stuff, too. But, like, make sure y'all try to get up out of that and make a change and get a bag and feed y'all family, man. Like, it's, other, it's other ways to get it, man. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Now, um, for the people who want to know, even myself, like, we know y'all as the artists and stuff like that. But who is Ray getting back and Jay Shook back? She, like, I ain't gonna lie. I- I light up the room, like me we both light up the room. Walk in there, we genuine people. I'm saying we show love. We don't be on there that hate shit. Like mm-hmm. we just be showing straight love, bro. But the love we give be so real. So it's like it's kind of hard in this rap shit because you know motherfuckers show fake love, all that shit. So it's like you gotta be expecting, you gotta be ready for that shit. But that's why it be so. Cause that's why it's kind of hard for real. Cause right. we show genuine love, we show real love. We don't be on there that weird shit. But um, like right getting back, see. Let me clear this out the way too. Right getting back, bro. He don't steal, bro. I don't steal. That's broke nigga shit. I don't do that, bro. I don't <laughs> steal or rob, bro. Right getting back is not stealing or robbing. Getting back in in my name means like I came up off 
I came up off curbs, nigga. I had to sell, get back. I had to sell a little shit, get back, my nigga. Oh, you want a, uh, you want a grandma? I need a dub. <laughs> Carts, I need, I need fifty on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <well. laughs> Getting back, bro. It's, it's, it's different ways to get back, bro. But that's the right way, um, bro. Cause you not, you not stealing, you not hurting nobody. So you just doing what you got to do to get your money, bro. Right. I swear to God. Right. What about you, Jay? I mean, man, I, I, I'm not really the type to, to, to like. You know, like a lot of people, like a lot of celebrities, people be looking at them like they like, like, I don't know. Like, I just don't like that dick sucking shit. So I ain't going to sit here and try to brag on myself because I'm a, I'm a normal human being. Like, we all human. No, it's right. just shit. We just living at different standards. We living at different, you know, levels. It's different it's levels to this shit for real. But like, you know, I'm just, I'm Jay Sugarback shit. I'm, I'm, uh, Sugarback came from, you know. Cause like I just said, I always gotta have my own bag. I like making my own money. I always gotta shake back. Like I'm always, I'm always shaking back. It's just, I don't know. It's really like I'm not gonna front myself. It's really something I just came up with. Like it made sense. I'm like fuck it. But like I said, like um, yeah, like I don't really, I don't really do too much of that dick sucking shit. I ain't gonna sit here and like, you know what I'm saying? Try to override myself or like, you know, put me on a super high level or I mean, I which I am, but. You know, I'm, just, I'm not that type of person. Right, you just let them know that you you, you human like everybody else. You just yeah. a regular person. You get your bag and get yeah. out the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's dope. You know, some motherfuckers just want it more than other motherfuckers. To be right. honest, yeah, that's right. Really now, um, it's dope to have y'all on here, man. Y'all been going crazy and stuff. How long, like, how long y'all been rapping? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Lil's has been rapping before me. I'm talking like <laughs> yeah. fourth grade, third grade, playing around, but she. She was playing around. She didn't really take it serious and shit, but... No, to be honest, yeah, I've been rapping before him, you know. Just when I was younger, I, w- I was, w- you know, my mom, our mom being out of jail and shit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I really didn't meet my dad till I was a little bit older. Um, It was just a lot of mixed and a lot of hard emotions on me. So, I was, I don't know, I was just, like, to be honest, one day I was just laying there. It was, I was laying in the dark. And I just, I don't know, like, I just started... I just really just started rapping and writing. I'm a writer. I've always been a writer. I don't like. That's what's crazy, too. I was looking. She come spit some shit. I'm, damn, you going crazy. Uh-huh. Oh, my nigga. But I was, I was kind of focused on, like, I was focused on sports. You know how it is. Like, every young nigga, they want to make it to the league. You right. know what I'm saying? NBA, NFL. So, I was really pushing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I had my own, like, my own family was telling motherfuckers, oh, he finna be in the NBA when he 18. Forcing it. <laughs> and then she, uh, I was going crazy, too. But you know how that shit go, bro. Like, when you got... When you going, when you living in poverty, bro, you got school, practice, streets, streets, practice, school, street. Know what I'm saying right. the streets right there, and it's like if you living in that kind of household, you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you living in that kind of household, yeah. then you, it's around. So it's like all this shit you see, you see niggas getting money, you see motherfuckers coming in with racks, all this. You like, damn, I'm trying to eat too, but like. I was looking towards the league, shit, and the streets really just took my eyes for real, shit. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. And was it hard, like, when you being around there, was it hard, like, like to, like, not gravitate towards that? Um, Yeah, that shit, was, that shit was pretty hard. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, I would go to school baked. It was just I would go like, to school back throughout. Teachers like, wouldn't even know. It was like some normal for us, really. Like we really was born and raised into all that shit. Like, so it's it's like I mean, it's sad. And like, if I was ever have kids, I would definitely wouldn't want it for mine, and I would never put them around it. Mm-hmm. But you know, it was just something we was born and raised into. Like, and it was just, I mean, shit. Like, hell yeah, type shit. <clears throat> now, um, Ray, I see you got a relationship with Jaja P. Like, how you know Jaja P and how long you knew him? Oh, for sure. Uh, I got P off the east. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. He like, he like, a, he probably like a maybe like a couple months older than me. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like maybe like six, seven months older than me. Six, I don't know, something like that. But, mm-hmm. bro, I've been playing, bro, since like I was growing up playing, bro. Shit, hooping to bro. Shit, like what? Probably like four, five years from now, playing this shit. No, no, no. I'm lying. Like, oh, three years from now, three years from now, playing this shit. On my nigga, I was hooping to bro shit. Like, I looked up to him. So like, when I when I started this rap shit, I started like last like a year and a half ago. Already got this far. A year and a half nigga, like a year and a half ago. On my nigga, I looked at everybody who I wanted to get music with, and I was just, I was just fantasizing over that shit. Like no dick sucking shit. I fantasized like, damn, I'm trying to get a song with bro. I'm trying to get a song with bro. I'm trying to get a song with bro. Long story short, I hit him up and shit. He showed he he showed me some love. He knocked the price down, everything, bro, because it's like he knew I was serious about this shit. Trying to. Put it out work. You know what I'm saying he's a genuine ass nigga like me, so right. It wasn't really none. So it was like basically meeting through the music type. Yeah, it was really none. Like 
he had got locked up and shot asked him for a feature before he got locked up. So he got locked up and I can't get it. He came back home. He was like, let's go run that up. And then we ran that shit up. Got, got that out the way. Mm-hmm. Man, that's dope how you can like form a business relationship and they turn into like another situation. Like yeah. y'all being locked in for real, for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's dope, bro. Um me, now, me, no, like me, XO though, like shout out Big Bro for real. Shout out XO too. I was at that Showing plenty too. love, showing plenty love. Um, that's like Unk for real. Um, bro, that's like Unk. Shout out XO for real. He, he showed he show love to the young motherfuckers who come trying to come up, bro. It's mm-hmm. love. Yeah, and I interviewed him. And, um, he was telling me before the interview how he was trying to like bring a lot of young people up under his wing and stuff yeah. like that and show them love, put them on his platform, let them do their thing and like you know. Really get their shit off And stuff like that So I think that's dope And shout out XO He always been showing love man Hell yeah Now um Who inspired y'all to rap Because I know y'all Y'all say how y'all Like started rapping Like who Like is there any artists That started like Made y'all want to rap Or Was it the situation or It was what? like It was kind of like You know when you When you going through struggles And shit You hoping Anything I like really Anything you doing Out here in the streets Anything bro You know music there bro Music You love music So it's like I was just in love with that shit So I was playing any. I was playing really anything, bro. I was listening to everything. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, no, we were. I was playing everything. It was part, partly more of our life that brought us to this shit. Not really, because I never really had an idol. Like I never really idolized nobody. I never looked at someone and was like, oh, they made me want to start rapping. I mean, like, yeah, it was just our life, really. To be honest. Really, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Keep the stack. It's really whatever I get into. I'm ambitious, but like that sports shit. I was never finna go D1. Hell you know, yeah. mom's was locked up. I had no way to get. I had no way to pay for my flight tickets to go to these D one schools. So I was like, I missed out on that chance. And I was like, damn. So you know, the streets was there. You know, so I ran it up, bro. Straight everything, up, everything just led to this shit. Like, yeah, everything just it's led like to God. It's like God for real. On so, my head. so not to cut you off, you would say like, y'all didn't really choose it. This kind of choose y'all. Chose y'all. Yeah, it's like, kind of like with y'all. You trying to make it out, bro. It's like if you trying to make it out, bro. Chase y'all dreams, bro. You can be whatever you want to be. Swear to God, if as long as you work, you can be that. Right. Do you ever think about that often? Like, man, I could have been like hooping somewhere in the lead or something. That's what I'm. That, that, look, so you know what I'm saying? A couple years, maybe a year from now, I'll fuck around, go juke, I'll fuck around, do some. You you yeah. gonna see me hooping again? I promise you, you gonna yeah. see me hooping again. That's what's up, bro. Um, yeah, cause if you know you still got time, man. You know what I'm saying? You young and all that, man. Uh, as long as you keep, um, you know, sticking out, you know, working towards your dream, anything is possible, bro. Like I said, just make sure you keep at it. You know what I'm saying? Because we can a lot of a lot of shit can throw us off all, all the time. It happens all the time. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you do that, man. Big up to you with that. Now, um, so run that shit up. It's all all your videos pretty much with DH, right? Yeah, oh, bro, that's that? my boy. Now, um, what's what's, what's that relationship like? And is is you just shooting videos with bro, or are you like willing to work with other cameramen and stuff? No, I'm willing to work with whoever. I know I'm willing to work with whoever. It's just about same thing. I, I watch I watch XO interview. So same thing with how XO feel like. Just don't. I I, I have some rough relationships with cameraman. Like coming up, like niggas playing with my videos two three months playing with my shit. So it's like it's really about communication too. Like, if the video code and the quality's worth the two months, say that, bro. But let me know in advance, nigga. It's gonna take me two months. Y'all gotta come correct. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, shout out DH. I, I mean, shout out DH. I came up to him. I, I came to DH. Um, I came to DH on some player shit. He said I approached him the right way. That's really how our connection got. Like how we really locked in, bro. Cause when I, when I talk about business, when I get into, when I get locked in with motherfuckers, bro, I do it the right way, bro. Right. I I communicate. I hey, bro, you trying to fuck with me? With I, I know you uh plugging this. But if I grab this many, put, you trying to put me on this? If not, it's cool. Type, like, it's just like that, bro. You got to communicate, bro. Like, that's all it is, bro. You can't sit there and go demanding shit. Like, niggas be demanding, demanding. Like, oh, no. Come on, bro. Let the price down. Like, you can't, you can't, you can't change the nigga prices, bro. It's just. Right. Prices is the prices. You know what I'm saying? Um, Facts. Everybody got to eat. Everybody got to eat. Now, Jay, um, do you got any more videos coming or individual videos like solo or? Mm. Yeah, I got, I ain't going to lie. I got a lot of, I got a lot of fire. I got some, some cooking, some cooked up already just waiting for videos. But yeah, I definitely got some, um. Some shit on the way though that that's that's some fire. The city gone. The city gone. The city gonna rock with that. Uh, she got her little, little EP coming. Got my little yeah. Definitely got my big EP coming. Uh, yeah, I'm big EP. Take that back. Big, big, big tape on my name. Big yeah. EP. You Put know. some respect on it. I'm oh, my daddy. It's just I don't know. It's 
and it's just it's I feel like it's just gonna be fire. It's gonna be different because you know I'm a I'm a I'm a female artist. I'm a good female artist at that. Like I just fire. I don't know. Now you speaking on you might let me touch on that. Um, by you being a female artist, do you feel like it's harder for you to get recognition and get your shit off, or just like you know you think? Do you think people would just be like? That don't want to really get your credit because, like, I had Mama Sita and uh, Chapi up here, and they were saying like, they music cold, and mm-hmm. a lot of dudes don't be want to listen to it because they be like, oh, she a female, or they might feel some kind of way. I mean, yeah, for sure. But I mean, as an artist, I just feel like you gotta. It's just common sense to know that everybody not gonna fuck with your music, everybody not gonna like your music, and everybody not gonna think it's as cold as you think it is. Like, no everybody way. got their different opinions on even genres of music, like. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, every, it's it's not for everybody to fuck with my shit. To be honest, like, I mean, I ain't judging. I ain't I ain't judging nobody for for fucking with my shit or not. You know, it is what it is. Right. Facts. Facts. But I definitely think as a female artist, um, for some female artists, it's harder to to you know to get that music out there. But I feel like um, I already had a little bit of a platform. I was already kind of known. So, you know, my shit kind of got out quicker. And then not even only that, but my brother. So you know, his shit he. He, yeah, like, he helped my shit get out there quicker, too. Right, and that's dope. Like, um, I see y'all been doing a lot of music together. Yeah. That's dope yeah, that y'all, yeah. like, connection and got that, um... Yeah, you know, we y'all. always... We, I mean, we, we a year apart. We was always together, dang so, you know what I'm saying? All my life, this is my, my damn dang one, bro. This twin name. This, you I know, know, it's always gonna be like that, whether motherfuckers like that shit or not. Because, I mean, you know, I already had a m- couple motherfuckers trying to tell me, like... Oh, you only out there because your brother, this, this, and that. But little do y'all know, it's always been me and my brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? No matter yeah, what it's going to be, it's going to be me and him. I'm like, we a year lie. apart. We was in the tub together, taking baths together. Like, Type shit. we could be, or we could not see each other for, I don't know, how many, that's what this probably will never happen. But we will, we, we could not see each other for, I don't know, how many years when it come right back, like it never happened. Like, I'm like, if we could get into it the next, then literally it could be like a minute later, we'll see each other, be right back. Like, me and this nigga went from sleeping on the floor together, and next we're going to be sleeping in mansions together. Fuck you talking about? Like, it's oh really just. Get some shit out. Get some shit out. Get some shit out. Get some shit out. All right, no bullshit. Facts. Now, um, let me ask this question. Let me get into this question. Sir. You've been dropping videos, doing numbers on YouTube, like crazy numbers, like, and uh, been yeah. consistent. Busting my Consistent, eyes. busting your ass every time I, I check my inbox. You got a new song, like, hey, yeah, go yeah. comment or go check this shit out. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, dog, work after going crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. How do you um, how do you stay motivated? Like, like what what drives your hunger? That's that's one thing too. Like, so when it comes to this shit, like, like I said, I'm just so ambitious, bro. Like, I'm when it comes down to like. Making it out, bro. I don't even be thinking about myself, bro. Mm-hmm. I be thinking about the fam, bro. I be thinking about getting my family out there. So I don't be worried about me. I mean, yeah, I'm supposed to, but I don't really be worried about me. I be worried about getting my family out of there. You know what I'm saying, get a better life for my kids, so they don't gotta experience anything I experience or see anything I seen. Cause niggas just when it's too much growing up. You know what I'm saying, yeah. and, 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 and that's what made me grow up faster though. And that's probably why like I am how I am. You know what I'm saying, I I don't be taking shit from nobody. But I'm the type of nigga, bro. You can come, you can talk to me, you can anything, bro. Even you, you event, come. I'm my nigga. I keep shit a hundred, bro. I keep shit a hundred. Everything be real love. I don't be none of that weird shit. Like I'm my nigga. Not that fake shit. Not that fake shit. And I, I get that vibe from y'all. I get like a um, a genuine, authentic vibe. Like ain't trying to be like nobody else. I ain't trying to like. Hell you know, yeah. do what everybody else doing. You basically, y'all standing in y'all lane and ain't trying to fit in with nothing. Yeah, no, know. but that's what that's what uh, fucks us over sometimes. You know, like it's just not even with this rap show with everything. It's a part of life. Like you know, sometimes we give love out to motherfuckers who don't deserve that shit, or we try to help motherfuckers who don't even want to help themselves. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah, it's a good yeah, thing, you, but that should also should stop. That shit stab us in the back sometimes. Yeah, Having you, a good heart can fuck you over. Man, man, can you 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 can't have nobody who you can't have nobody who don't want to be helped. Um, bro, that's really got. Man, that should be crazy, man. Cause like, like you be want to so bad, but it's like that person gotta be willing to put that work in. That's what I'm saying. Like, let me, you gotta want that shit for help yourself. Help me, help you, help me, help you. You, you <laughs> want me to, you want me to sit here and do all this for you, but help me, help you, bro. Right. Put but, your effort in, like. But it mainly be like a mind thing. A lot of people don't just, just don't be hungry for, or just understand. be, you know, mm-hmm. comfortable. Mm-hmm. And stuff like it's that. like, yeah. one thing I learned, like. No matter what the struggle that I go through, sometimes I just don't got it. Like, 
I mean, I go through. I went through so much, but my, my but the nigga next to me went through so much too. But that don't mean he gonna sit there and bust his eyes to get up out of that shit. It's just, it's really like what you put your mind to, bro. Like I'm saying, like anything it's really you put your mind, mind to. Really mind over matter, like to be honest. What you put your mind to, you can do it. Niggas be mad. Oh, they touch, they touch a zip. Oh, uh, nigga, you start off. Nigga, sometimes you gotta come up off a zip. Nigga, I came up off a of grams. Nigga, I came up off a of little shit. Yeah. Oh my nigga, taxing. <clears throat> You gotta start somewhere. Gotta crawl before you walk, man. Fact. You know oh, fact. Now, when did y'all first start seeing yourself like, like getting that recognition? Like, when did you start like realizing, like, oh yeah, I got this, this shit popping. I'm, right. I'm making noise. Like, what song or what video or what situation was it? I ain't gonna lie. Coming in, coming in, I ain't gonna lie. Coming in, we had a uh, what was that? It was my first music video. Uh, I got I got to put on T glazed it with my boy Tay. Mm-hmm. My boy Nonchalant. I'm saying, shout out nonchalant. I'm saying, over there, sitting down. It's like, mm-hmm. it's ugly eyes. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? We uh, we had got on T Glazed it. We had got like a couple motherfuckers, like a lot of motherfuckers off the South were fucking with us. Cause you know, that's where we was from and shit. So the South fucked with us. But then, like, I'm, I went to a native school. I went to like a private school. Uh, I went to high, a private high school. I, 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 I had to get out that motherfucker cause my grade dropped and shit. But like, that's how hard I was going for this sport. Like, I was really, you know what I'm saying, trying to make it. And he went to a private school and shit, it's, it is what it is. Like shit just didn't work out. Long shit just didn't work out. Oh, you know that uh something to do with like we were saying in the beginning um racism. You know profile and shit like that. Like it's fucked up. But I mean, uh, yeah, and I and I went out to New Berlin. It was racist as hell, boy. Cause I yeah, racist as hell. <laughs> so I ain't gonna lie. Like, but all, but they all fucked with me. That's the thing. But they all fucked with me. But then they talk shit behind my back. So it's like... You know, it's probably just... It was just, weird, bro. It's probably, you know... I'm, but they all watch my music. That's that's, when, that's why we got so many views. They watching us in New Berlin. Yeah, it's they just watching. motherfuckers... Oh it's, it's just motherfuckers <laughs> never seeing shit in real life that he was bringing to them. You know, they only seeing shit like that from Milwaukee on Instagram and, you know, shit like that. Yeah, like, right. But that's, it's probably just on some hating that shit, probably. Yeah. yeah, basically on some hating shit they ain't never really seen before and it's hard adjusting type shit, like trying Hell to see yeah. what's yeah. going on. Motherfuckers coming there taking their little bitties, their little snow bunnies and yeah, shit. Yeah, I came here with swiping mm-hmm. hoes. You know, that was, that was in going, <laughs> bro. That was mad. Try setting, up, try setting me up with a case and all that. I ain't going to speak on that, but yeah. it was on some weird shit, bro. Definitely. Yeah, but hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Look at you now, man. Like, you going to... Everything good, man. You ain't let that shit phase you. I, know, I got five racks for them crackers, man. <laughs> I got five for y'all crackers, man. I'm trying to y'all. Go one, two, three. Three, they going crazy. Mama. Four, I'm on the... On GIM, get him up. Going oh, crazy. Five, five, five. Now, man, y'all see what's going on, man. <clears throat> and that's real, too. That ain't that, fake. Nah, I ain't counterfeit. No bro. prop ain't no money. counterfeit. We don't do no, no prop fake. money. We don't do props. Right, talk to him. It's all uh, for real. It's real life. You know, I thought I only brought five. Nigga, dummy is ten. <laughs> Go <Going> crazy. <laughs> talk your oh, shit. Man. Look at him. <laughs> he went crazy. <laughs> now, dummy is ten. Yeah, now, um... With the, I know you said you was trying to start a label and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I, let's talk about like your label and your team, man. Like, who all apart and who all involved around your circle. So, you know what I'm saying, we got. So basically, long story short, it came down to like we coming up wise, ah, like we all wanted to be label type shit. We all wanted to run the label, but when it came down to you know, I was pushing. I was I took it serious. So I was really running it. I was making sure all my artists shit got dropped. I was making sure all my people around me, Lil Sis, Browdy. Other Brody, other Brody, they all all making sure all that shit get dropped, cover art good, videos good. I'm just managing shit for real, going hard. Right. At 17, bro. I said I was doing this at 17. This was last year I was doing this. Is, I'm still doing it, but now I got help. Damn near 16. Damn near 16, bro. Mm-hmm. But now I got help because, you know, nonchalant, it's not nonchalant. So we got, it's, it's Ray getting back, nonchalant, Jay shook back, Lil Dino, he the little short, the little short. White little shooter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then Crispy K, my brother, you know what I'm saying? Light skin, bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> my daddy. Right now. So, like, but the only person who's, like, really helping me manage it right now, I'm going to shout out Nasha Mont. You know what I'm saying? He putting work in behind that shit. Lil Sis been putting work. And she younger, though, so it's like, she your younger, so I don't really be on her like that. And she got a shit to handle, so it's like. It's a lot. Got a lot going on right now. A lot going on. A lot of shit on the way. A lot of, lot of yeah, shit. A lot of plenty. shit. Yeah, plenty. Right, man. That was dope. Um, shout out to y'all, man. Like, being this young and really thinking like that, trying to put together your own yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just telling your own cameraman, your personal cameraman. 
have your family be your team and stuff like that. Facts. And really hit the ground and hit the get the running, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? It take time, but like as long as y'all got that mindset, everything everything gonna fall in place sooner or later. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? And um also, if any labels try coming, I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all gotta bring some pay because we got that shit over here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all in the clown Milwaukee or Wisconsin because we got cheese, nigga. Yeah, we really got cheese, my nigga. Yeah, stop right. playing with us. Cheese we really got cheese. But yeah, I'm like, it is what it is, though. Uh, if you want to come fuck with us, come fuck with us. All the labels come fuck with us. Y'all got to come to the mill and fuck with everybody, bro. Come fuck, bro. The mill got so much talent, bro. So too much, much right. bro. Too so much. Y'all really, y'all really sleeping. Y'all sleep. I need to wake the fuck up. I need to wake the fuck up. No, my mom. No, come no. to the mill, bro. Come yeah, to the mill. Y'all come gotta fuck come, man, because y'all, I mean, they be watching. They know, man. They um, know. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all just, y'all. Yeah, I feel like it's more of a test, bro. I feel like it's more of a test. They be trying to see, like, whether we gonna go get locked up or go get bodied or shit like that. But they right. be testing us for real, but. And a lot of you niggas be you. A lot of you niggas be letting that shit slide out here snitching and all that shit. We know we anybody yeah. that's in this life ain't no snitching ain't no none of that shit going on. We all got paid. It's all it's all here and it's all the show. The fuck you talking about? And uh, one thing is too like, I forgot what I was gonna say. I mean, young niggas really doing <laughs> that shit. Yeah. How would y'all describe Milwaukee sound if anybody asked y'all? Because used to be times we get compared to people. But how would y'all compare? How would y'all say? If somebody asks you about like our style or our sound of music, how would you explain it? Awesome, like bro, Milwaukee got its own sound, bro. Mm-hmm. We one thing about us, bro, like we got our own little lingo, bro. Like yeah, we cracking heads, we smacking heads, like we mm-hmm. smacking fire headies, we big spenders. I'm not, like we just got other lingo that I bet you like labels and other people probably don't understand. But it's like if you pay attention, you you'll get it, you'll get it. You'll get it. If you're on the right, if you come here for a day, you're on the right motherfuckers, you're going to catch on quick. Oh, yeah, you're going to learn a whole lot of shit. Like, so, like, like, Milwaukee, we got, we can do, we can do auto-tune, we can do twerking music, we can do R&B, we can do hip, we can do hip-hop, we can do... Really, anything, Anything, bro. bro money rap. We really rap about money. That's the biggest thing. I'm going I'm to I'm stand on that, though. We rap about money for real. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm going to say this. A lot of niggas not here, yeah, they rap about it. But I'm not gonna front my shit. Really don't be about that pay. Like for real. Like really. And that's one thing, like that's one thing that I don't like. A lot of niggas sit out here capping and rapping about being out here in these shit. That shit disrespectful for the motherfuckers who risking their life every day doing this shit, bro. And y'all not having no motion at all, bro. And y'all be 40, 50, and y'all late yeah. like 30 still trying to do this shit. Like, let the little niggas have it, bro. Like, we got it. Like, you know, wipe your hands with this shit. We got it. My life. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, my old heads gotta get how they live, bro. But man, y'all better off going to that nine to five, man. Stay, play it safe, bro. You already old, man. You don't end up in jail. Right? You know what I'm saying? You you supposed to be trying to get up out of this shit. Man. My life. I mean, I just don't get how you. If you really dump on how you said you is for how old you is, my nigga, you gotta be doing this shit for years. How you really not ready to retire, bro? Like, what is? Put them racks up and get ready to retire, fam. Like, come on now. Like <laughs> Retire fam Now Besides y'all self Who is some of y'all Favorite Milwaukee artists It's so many Bro I ain't gonna lie It's just so many artists I'm gonna I'm, I'm shout out um, I'm gonna shout out uh, And in the top five It's just a list Right And in the top five It's just a list So that ain't gonna be Number one Number two number three, number three, number three. But shout out Um XO, bro, they count as one. They a pair. I'm standing on that. I'm saying to me, they come together like, love. You know what I'm saying. I feel like we can just relate to their ass because shit, we really we we a pair. I'm saying, right. so y'all so, really related what they talking yeah, about. Yeah. Like, so, shout out XO, bro. You know what I'm saying they 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 finna make it soon too. You know, certified. Shout out certified. He got his own little song. I'm doing his dance. They, the whole city got y'all back, bro. You gonna make it? Um, shit, Jaja P. Why well, are you saying Jaja P? No, I said Jaja, Jaja P. So you got certified um, Jaja P, XO and Blow. XO and Blow, Jaja P. Band going hard. Um, ooh, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out Trap Baby on my shout, Trap Baby and Jay Cash, bro. Jay mm-hmm. Cash been fucking with you since. And shout out Jay Cash, bro, cause I ain't gonna lie. He hit me. He he uh he one of the only artists who had hit me out the blue. It was like, damn little bro, you going hard. That new trap nigga shit go hard. I'm like. With Jay Cash, it takes me. I'm geeked. I'm on. I'm geeked. I'm like mm-hmm. never. 
I'm like, dude, I used to play this nigga when I was little too. I'm never. All this shit happened in the same week. XO, fucking with XO, J Cal, Trap Baby. That shit all happened in the same week, bro. That's how fast shit happened, bro. That's why y'all gotta get to this shit, bro. This shit ain't going nowhere, my nigga, bro. You gotta move to get it, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, my nigga, you gotta move to get it. Mm -hmm. And that show you that all your hard work really pay off. You know what I'm saying? When you're going crazy like that, you gotta keep that consistency. That's what that's what key consistency is really key. And bro. and bro, we gotta start showing love to everybody in the city, bro. Stop acting Hollywood. Stop stop doing that extra shit, bro. Cause yeah. we all gotta work as a team, bro. Why do you think all these other states making it out, bro? Mm -hmm. ATL, like all these Florida, all these big states, they all working together, bro. They all sharing each other shit. They all. All putting helping hands out there. They ain't on my life, so it's like if you showing love, it's just everything gonna be easier, bro. Right. It's gonna be easier. And now I can't stress that enough. Excuse me, I can't stress that enough. Mm -hmm. I talk about that all the time, man. All the time, like man, we gotta work together. Like you know, what I'm facts, saying facts, facts. Everybody collab with each other. Everybody push each other. Shit, man. Motherfuckers just be hating too much, yeah. man. Like y'all gotta stop that hating shit. That's like what I'm it's saying. not. You be grown men hating, bro. On Nigga, my I'm life, eight. it's not no reason to hate, I'm bro. 18, I'm 18, why aren't you hating on me, bro? Go to the bag, my nigga. <laughs> Worry about your kids, my nigga. Like, and then, bro, like, shout out Jay Cash again, bro, because he was the only rapper who told me, like, this shit take communication, bro. You can't sit there and expect niggas to want to hop on your shit or do anything with you, my nigga, if you're not communicating, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you got to show your... Nigga, if you focus on the music, bro, say that, nigga. Don't sit there and be all like, oh, no, I don't fuck with this shit because he not me. Like, that shit weird as hell. That shit played out, bro. My nigga. Right. And that was the whole reason of behind me trying to create another platform. That's that's um, what's up. That's fire. Yeah, because I wanted to, like, you know, add another podcast to the city, like, far as for music and everything, bro. Like, because we got everything. Like, I'd say that all the time. We got actors, hoopers, yeah. football players, uh, rappers, whatever you need. We Facts. got it, bro. Like, literally. I, I was just with, uh, uh, my, my bro in law and shit making a movie like cause he do film and Putting we was really city making on. a movie Putting last the city week on, bro nigga. and to see that process like man that's dope to see we got filmmakers here man rappers actors you know what I'm saying we got a lot of stuff here that people don't be knowing about cause they just think Milwaukee just like oh there's nothing going on but cheese and farms. Really like, is. it is nothing. Could, like, what y'all be thinking it is is nothing what y'all be thinking it is man I love I if mean if you take the camera out right now put it on the road it'll, you gonna see some shit <laughs> yeah, I, love, I love my city Yeah no, I do too man Like I said like, and it's Something about us being small Like a small city A small market It make me love it even more Because we the underdogs uh, Honestly I feel like We better And I'm not just saying this Because I live here But I honestly be listening And watching shit Like We kind of better Than a lot of cities We just Like Facts. I said A small market We actually better We got our own link Our own everything bro It's unique Like it's very like, unique You can see like Like how much effort we put towards this shit? Like a lot of people, a lot of other cities, but they be having, they be having motherfuckers who helping them out, bro. Like we don't got no help over here, bro. You know what I'm saying we starving for ourselves. Like everything I got, I got on my own, my nigga. Like I love moms. You know what I'm saying she always got me when I need it. But it's like you know how that go. I don't even ask, like asking moms. Right, you know right. We in the struggle. You know what I'm saying we trying to get it out together. So I ain't even trying to ask moms for that. Mm -hmm. So it's like. I always knew I had to get this shit on my own. I'm the oldest, too. So I was like, I always knew I got to get on my own. I got three siblings. So I ain't going. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm already knowing, man. And um, It's good to see you, like, doing what you're doing, man, trying to be an uh, influence to your family and your uh, siblings and to the people around you, bro. Like, because I seen um at your video shoot, like, how you had all the shorties out and stuff. Hell, yeah. And, like, they was geeked to be at the video shoot and all that. Geek. That's that's dope, bro. Like, um, and I was like, man, bro, really doing something. Got a fan base, and he really like inspiring people and stuff like that. To somebody yeah, younger yeah. than him, and the fact that, like I said, y'all this young and y'all thinking the way y'all thinking and putting the work y'all putting in, like it's only up from here. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's only up from here, and the numbers y'all putting in is like crazy right now. Like, hell yeah, bro. The industry going, bro. I feel like I feel like I'm keeping the stock with you, bro. How I know the industry is seeing this, bro, is because I didn't got. Probably a fake email from every single label I can think of, bro. Every big label I can think of, I got a fake email from. Mm -hmm. Literally, bro. Everything, bro. Atlantic Records, CMG, motherfucking. What's uh, such a boy's label? Like, just every label you can think of, bro, that's cracking, like, uh, plenty. It's plenty. It's more, plenty. <clears throat> right. Now, um, I got two more questions for you, for y'all. How does it feel seeing the success and, like, how. 
uh, Big Frank and Lil Frank both going viral and stuff like that. Like, what's y'all take on that? <laughs> bro, I feel like, on? that's facts, bro. I feel like, so, how I feel about that shit, I feel like, bro, they just got a bucket, like, mm-hmm. score, them, they score them on, they get like, up to score on their ass. So, I feel like we all a team saying they up to score. We, I'm geeked. My mom, what? I'm sitting here, I'm certified, baby Tron, that shit. It's all, oh, it's yeah, all, yeah, we, we finna get up out of here. And I'm seeing uh, B- uh, Big Frank. On a big stage with all these big artists, the industry artists, Drake. Drake. I'm like, 21. bro. Yeah. I'm like, bro. It's up. Shout out backpack, backpack. Oh my god. <laughs> right, right. It I feel it. like everybody. I feel like everybody. Like I ain't. Like I said, I ain't no judge for last motherfucker. I ain't. I ain't here to judge nobody. Just like I wouldn't want nobody to judge me. Fact. I feel like we all just here doing our own thing. Everybody different. Ain't nobody finna be rapping the same. I mean. Shit, that's really how I just look at. I mean, everybody doing their own thing, and right. I'm just, I oh, shit, it's love to uh, everybody. Shit. Uh huh. And I say that with everybody, whether it's love, Frank, Big Frank, Chicken, like whatever, like anybody, Lakia, like mm-hmm. it makes people look at Milwaukee. Like you know what I'm saying? It's interesting. It's either good or bad. They're still gonna look. Is all publicity is good publicity? You know what I'm saying? One thing I, one thing I know about Milwaukee though. We just some hating ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. We always hate. I ain't gonna lie. I'm keeping stuck. I hate a lot. But I don't be hating, hating. But I just be hating. Like I can see nigga music right now on my on my feet. Oh, he cold, but he ugly. He ugly in the bed. Like <laughs> no, I'm saying, bro, that's just how it be. Like we just we just naturally talk shit in the middle. All right? We just some shit talkers. I'm I just gonna, gonna say that. The is not for the week. Bro, bro, not, not for the for week. week. I'm so mama. like, if if you ready to get in this rap shit, you you mm-hmm. niggas gonna come talk shit, bro. That's just what it is, bro. You gotta be ready. Hey, yeah. the meal will really make you, man. You can make here, you can make <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Shit, niggas compliment each other by saying disrespectful. It'll really, it'll really make you, but if you let it, it'll really break you. It could, My mama. Uh, yeah. Yeah. man. It's deep. Whatever you let it be, whatever, and that's what it's gonna be. Shit. Yeah. Right. Now, um, my final question for y'all is, uh, what's next for y'all? Man, there's so much shit, shit, bro. Like so. With this label, with this, it's so much shit. So like with this label, shit, it's like we got um. I'm trying to get this little clothing brand and shit in motion. I'm trying to get, get a mold, like clothing brand, and get a mold models, you know what I'm saying? Like, saying BBL is like, yeah, like, we need those. Mm-hmm. So if you if you serious about modeling, shit, come holler at me, shit. I'm trying to get this shit all. So when it comes to this label shit, I'm going to have everybody, like, I'm going to have everything, like, videography, photography, motherfucking. Motherfuckers could do graphic design, like everything you think of around this shit. Engineers, I, I engineer my own. That's one thing too. I engineer my own music. I record myself. I make my own beats now. I'm on some just on some fires, like cheap keep. I'm on some like young goat. We really like. just we. I ain't gonna lie. And I'm, gonna teach, we I'm, I'm gonna teach all these everybody around me. I'm gonna teach them how to do that shit. So it's gonna we gonna be like like that. You know what I'm saying? The so next interview you're gonna see us coming this motherfucker. Yeah, we know how to do everything. The age we are, I ain't gonna lie. We really just trying. We really doing everything, bro. We just having it our way, like no bullshit. Mm-hmm. We young, we young. We just, you know, we getting that how you live shit. But yeah, I'm gonna get this little LLC and shit in order. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna really get this shit in motion, man. And when I say like, bro, you can, bro, I'm, 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 I'm dead ass when I say this, bro. You can be anything you want to be, bro. Anything you put your mind to, anything you tell it's yourself you can effort, be. It's just effort, bro. It's just work behind it. Y'all. If you put that work ethic in that shit, bro, you can become anything. Literally, anything. You want to be a hating ass, broke, bum, leeching ass nigga? Then you're going to be that. Be? Right. be that. And this the best, like, uh, I feel like this the best um, time right now to be whatever you want to be. You can literally make money off anything. You know what I'm saying? Facts, you see? Online. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to even be in person, but you can do it all online. So, you know. And then, like we said, we got Google and YouTube, man. It's, you'll it's be able to do what's around Oh, yeah. That's too, like, niggas, niggas starting to get paid off YouTube now. Shout out YouTube. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, niggas. Shout out YouTube. Man, y'all know what it is, man. Um, Like I said, y'all definitely doing y'all thing. Y'all, y'all standing your own lane. You know, y'all definitely been consistent, dropping that heat all the time. Like mm-hmm. I said, every time I check up on Instagram, my DM, you got a new song. Y'all dropping, and then just like I said, y'all mindset, man. It's just, it's just good to have this yeah, mindset. How y'all facts. got this business, like minded. We wanna. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say we're the youngest doing it, cause the market got so much talent. I can't mm-hmm. even say that. What I'm mm-hmm. gonna say is we one of the youngest doing it. We some right. of the youngest doing it. You know what I'm saying we doing mm-hmm. something right. Right. Something right. Most definitely. They fucking with us out in like Denver and other places too. They fucking with us out uh Cali. Like they fucking with us, bro. Mm-hmm. You just gotta I'm saying get out to them uh promoters and see what it is. You eighteen. 
17, you know what I'm saying? 18, 17. We young, bro, but put us in that club, it will bring you back some cheese. I promise you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, y'all definitely on y'all way, man. Um, I definitely appreciate y'all for even stopping by and pulling up on me, man. Oh, you like, know what it is. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's love. Yeah, for like sure. Like that for sure. Because um, y'all could be anywhere right now, and um, y'all, y'all just pulled up on me and sat down and answered these questions and told the people y'all story on my platform. That mean a lot to me, man. Um, Man, that yeah. mean a lot. Shout out, shout out Rick Taylor, bro. He trying to, he trying to, bro. He gonna start some shit for the city, bro. I'm trying to right. tell you. I'm trying to tell That's you. That's what it's about. It's love, yeah, bro. Like shout saying, out Rick Taylor. I'm just trying to keep. I'm just trying to play my part. I had an extra little um outlet here, man. Like you know what I'm saying. I shout out all the platforms, man. I said a lot of podcasts going on. You've been like, going hard for yeah. a minute now, though. Yeah. I, I've been peeping you. Mm-hmm. I remember coming up in this rap so I'm like, oh, I'm finna get on that interview. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was just waiting for the day. Yep. And that's man. when I had uh, I had Rap Drab. So, yep. you know, that was when I was doing the one on one interviews. Yep. But then I'm like, let me change it to a podcast. And plus, it's I wanted not. to be uh, more universal. So I changed the name from Rap Draft and just named it my brand, Rick Taylor Entertainment. It's not. So here we is right now. And uh, this is the first spot, you know what I'm saying? I'm working on a new spot, you know? Like I said, I just wanted to have another platform for the artists, you know, to try to get our shit out here more and um, showcase our talent. And um, like I said, it's more than artists. Everybody, any any entertainers or any person, period. You know what I'm saying? It, y'all are more than welcome to come on this um, platform and this podcast. Man, I ain't like that. Yeah, just come, fuck, come fuck with my boy, bro. Come yeah, fuck with him. For sure. Yeah. Good business, bro. He gonna be on that nice icy shit. Mm-hmm. But like I said, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Much love to y'all, and y'all keep doing y'all thing, and y'all definitely on y'all way, man. I appreciate y'all. Mm-hmm. Facts. Much love, love. bro. Love. Yeah, love. We gone. Peace. I'm the youngest doing it. Give me a barbie, now she chewing it. You niggas want smoke, but you ain't proving it. Spark another eye. We too lit. We ruthless. Hit him in his lip, now you toothless. He was running from our shots, nigga, now you shoeless. Run around in this bitch whip, now you bullish.